Hey friends, welcome to HowToRinse.com and in this video we have, uh, what we're going to do is try something that one of you subs had commented on in a past video and that was something you did with Plug Pilot Jet. So I thought it was such a cool idea that I'd go ahead and try what you suggest, see if you could teach us here at HowToRinse.com and see if it would work. And then the other thing, uh, like I said, I, I love getting feedback. Uh, one of the things people have asked us about on certain videos, I get kind of far away from the mic or whatnot, was to try something uh, different to improve our auto audio quality. So I got these uh, headphones uh, from Half Ears here, and they decided they want to send a set to the channel. And if you like them, and this sounds like something you want to see in all our videos, the cool thing is they're going to give you a set free. So we said, let's try them out and see if the audio quality is something that makes sense and is working. And if so, then hey, you get a free set and I'm going to keep using them. All right, back to the jet. Um, I'm going to go to the magnifying glass and show you that this is actually plugged first. And then we'll go to the suggestion that one of you had. All right, if you hadn't seen this before, this is just what I use to uh, do a lot of jet inspection. I actually have some fun new tools to try out here in the new future, but we're going go to uh, we're gonna go the old standby for right now and see if we can uh, see what we got going on. So here is a, a brand new one. Let's uh, zoom in there and see what we see. Okay, so we could see we're good and clear through there. Okay, now we'll grab, actually I'll just put it side by side. Okay, we are plugged up. So let's, uh, let me show you what somebody's idea was. So what one of you said was use dental floss and these uh, pre-laid out dental strips or whatnot. And uh, I've always just pulled it out of a roll, so this was something new to me. Let's try this again. So we've got this like harder end. Little plastic in, the rest seems to be soft. Well, that's too large a diameter. It's too large a diameter for that, just on a jet. Let's just do a jet. Okay, I could see where that would be, that would be kind of cool, right? Because you could just rotate a, you know, so back and forth, I'm cleaning it, spray some carb cleaner, some on there, rotate it, back and forth, clean it. That'd be a nice uh, non-abrasive way to go about uh, trying to clean it. So I could dig it. That's pretty cool when it fits, okay? Let me go back and just try this. Yeah, boy, I just, this is definitely too thick to do these pilot jets, but pretty cool for the main jet. So why don't I just continue on and do what I would always do on how I'm going to get that clean because I've already soaked it. I've already uh, um, just tried the chemical process on it. So now I'm going to show you how I get this clean. My bag of carb tools. You'll see a lot of people use like a welding tip cleaner kit. And if you have one small enough, that's great. I already know that that's not going to be the case with this because it won't fit the dental floss. So we're going to pass on that. So the next thing that I do is I'll take a wire brush and I'll take a pair of side cutters and clip off a wire because it's really nice and small. And then what I have here is just a little, you know, manual drill for micro drilling. And you can see there, I've got that little tiny piece of wire in there. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lubricate that jet with some cleaner. And I'm going to very, very, very lightly... Look at that. It took like next to no effort. This has been soaked. It's been whatever. Uh, all I need to do is just get it started. Okay. So you saw that's all I did so far. Now I'm going to go back to just like regular cleaning, if you will. Okay. So let's just go here. Blah, blah, blah. Because really what you got to do is just got to poke it through. And then 
I take a rubber tip blowgun, okay, that's got this small end on it, and I'm going to pop it around there, make sure and hold it really good and tight, and I'm going to... Yeah, I just heard it pop, like I heard something poke through. Just for right now, I'm just going to peek at the light. Oh, yeah, pretty cool. Let's go back to the magnifying glass and show you the difference. What do you think of that? Boom diggity. Whoop, whoop. The big argument about this, and man, do I love comments. Because I'm going to use this dental floss thing like on jets that works. This is a neat idea. I really dig this. But where the argument was is somebody said, oh, you're putting metal through there and you're going to resize that. You know, you're changing the jet size. You are not strong enough I shouldn't say you aren't strong enough because some people can be really aggressive or whatnot. But when you're just getting that feel, if you noticed my technique as I was getting in there, and I wasn't just ramming it in there, I'm getting in there and I'm just kind of poking the, the varnish because that's what's happening. When you leave these sit, they get that varnish on there. And the fuel's so bad nowadays, you might have 30, I mean literally 30 days and fuel's bad and, and turning to crap and plugging these up. So what I'm doing is I'm just trying to, if I could get the smallest little hole through, what will happen is then I can go back to chemical. Then I could go back to, you know, cleaning if that's if that uh, stuff were small enough. Just pure curiosity. I want to try again. I wanted it to work so bad. Wish I could go back. I'll have to go back to my notes, see if I wrote down whose idea this was. I've been trying to be better about that because I like, oh, oh, it's so, so close but it's sticking, so I don't want to, wanted it to work so bad. Anyway, love your comments, love your feedback. Uh, you know, like I said, the argument here was that, you know, you were going to, you know, make it larger, but it's about a feel. We're just trying to kind of poke, poke the varnish, not dig it through the jet, not twist it like a, you know, like a crazy drill, but I will just being transparent. I will sometimes get this in here and I'll do something like this. I'll just give a little, little, little twist, you know, a little bit like that. But like I said, I'm, it's so much about feel. Done this a million times, I'm not drilling this jet or making it bet, uh, bigger. Now, you may have seen even in some other videos, I wonder if I have it handy. This is really funny because they make a micro drill set. When I, that's why I have this. When I got taught this, I got taught this at a shop I worked at back in the 90s. Um, the snap-on Mac trucks would come around and we had this micro drill set. It almost would just be, all right, I'm back. Look at this. Isn't this cool? It's a micro drill set. And the reason this was so attractive is obviously you had a bunch of different sizes to try and work through those jets. And back then, how I was taught was to literally take and drill through. And I could see where that that probably, you know, because people come up with ideas and the industry will buy into it. And then, a, you know, a few years later, somebody will go, you know, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Maybe not everybody has the right feel. Maybe, you know, so and so on. And that, that little drill set where I went and grabbed it from was my fuel tools, my little tote that I keep all my fuel tools in. Since someone taught me this and what I was doing is uh, visiting students on their on-the-job training and it was a... A shop that you know guy been cleaning carbs forever and he said oh this is what I do and I thought that's such a great idea since I made this and I've cut this little piece off a, a wire brush I've replaced this numerous times over the years but I'm going on years I want to say that I've probably been doing this for oh geez that was back in maybe 2013 or something that I was out vis visiting students it was in those one of those summers and I haven't needed to go to the drill set. It's funny because I'm missing a couple and every once in a while I'm looking at tools. I go, oh, I should get a drill set. And I think, I don't need it. I don't ever use it because this little piece of wire brush works freaking fantastic. So I, uh, I think uh, the comment on this was way cool. I thought, you know what, maybe I'll model it. Maybe I'll do a better job in this video of showing the feel and like being really intentional about don't drill the jet. You know, whatever. I don't, I don't remember what the maybe what the thought was on the last one, but they, they thought that I didn't have figured out. I think I got figured out. And I think that your guys' ideas are awesome. And, you know, 
Worst case, I guess I can floss. All right, friends, here's those earbuds I mentioned at the beginning of the video. What did you think of the quality of the audio in this video? Um, I know that I can kind of have my tone go up and down and, you know, I'm not perfect in front of camera, but um, I don't know, it, it sounds really good to me. And I've listened to music on these. I've talked on the phone on them, everything else, and they're seeming awesome so far. I don't have a spec yet as far as myself on battery life. All I know is I charged them like two, three weeks ago and they're, they're still uh, fine, but they charge in the case. So, you know, every time you put them back in there, they're charging. They're way cool. I don't know. My buddy, I was just having lunch with yesterday, spent 250 bucks on a pair of these, you know, the Apple version. And I thought, dang, man, this is crazy. So what blew my mind is when I got in here and saw they were only 20, you know, one bucks, but check this out. Uh, they've given our how to wrench fans a coupon and I just wanted to test it to see if it would actually work. So I'll put this in the description below. And check that out, $9.08. Oh, it looks like it was already in there from when I tested it before. So you can buy these for freaking 9 bucks shipped to your door. That's amazing. So pretty wild. Anyway, just want to pass on those discounts. We appreciate uh, vendors and products that we'd actually use supporting our our fan base to where you can get those deep discounts and uh, keep sending them, keep checking in, and stay tuned to How to Wrench. All right, friends, there you have it. As always, like, share, subscribe, join the channel, become a member, support us. Best two bucks a month you ever spent in your life. We love having you here. And keep the comments coming because you always make us better. You make us learn too. Whole community is better for it. We appreciate you. Make it a great day. And as always, keep riching.